Canvas Sheets just dropped, and whilst it's no competitor to Excel, there's loads of things it can do from a design perspective that are awesome. For example, really easy to just insert an image like that. You can also multi-select and choose BG Remover, and it will remove the background of all of those super fast. Whilst you're here, my name is Dave Benheim, and I have tons of videos on Excel and other spreadsheet apps. And I'm doing a stand-up comedy show all about spreadsheets and maths this summer at the Edinburgh Fringe. You can buy tickets via a link in the description. By the way, I did that in real time. So let's look at some other cool stuff they can do, like how to make all these names and all these images with these topic titles from one design into multiple ones of the same one. So let's get going. So from the camera homepage, you can press on sheet here, or you can actually create one in an existing design. I'm gonna show you how to do that now. By the way, if you don't see sheet there, then I'll show you in the end of this video how you can get all the new features from Canva. If you press on this, you can add a new page that is any type of document or any size, which is so much better than what it used to be, which is you needed to have one size, one type per design. So this is only available in the pro version, but let's say that I have these names and I want to add a talk title and then create bulk create, like I showed you at the beginning of these designs. So if I select my cells, I can go to actions and choose magic right. And this is great. I can say, create presentation titles about biology, 10 characters max. I sped up the writing time, but I'm not speeding this up. Look at that insert. How cool is that? And now I'm going to assign these to a design. So I've got my template to start with, which is this, and I'm going to assign the different names, the topic titles, and the image. So what I do is I select the data and I go to actions and bulk create, which is here. And then here, I could also select my data afterwards. That's not a big deal. I could just select here like that. Fine, I click on continue. And then what design do I want? So template to start with. And then I just assign things. So here, for example, the name, I'm going to connect data to the name. This, I'm gonna connect data to the title and the image, I'm going to connect data to the image. That's just what I've called the columns, as you can see over here. So if I had different things, I would connect it to different things. And then I can create five designs, but I always recommend going to advanced options and choosing multiple pages, one design. Otherwise you end up with too many designs in your things and you can choose where to save it and click create design. Now this has happened, you can go view in folder. And let's open the design, there we go. Check that out. It's done pretty good job. Now I might want to edit it, so I could, this is put in a frame, I could put more of her in the image like that. You can do all your standard edits, but it looks pretty good as is. So that's pretty cool. I really, really like that. For example, I could also extend this to have a full name in one row. So that's one of the things you can do. Other than that, you can also have a design that I've linked and I can, for example, resize it. So I can click on there and I can choose resize designs. And this one, I can actually press continue and I can resize it to multiple different sizes. So maybe this one, maybe this one, maybe a social media size like that one or whatever I wanna do. Press copy and resize and then it will create the linked designs that are resized like that. Go to folder. And here is another one. Now, of course, I probably wouldn't publish something like this. I would probably extend some things, but that is pretty cool just to start with and to get you going. So I've shown you so far is honestly what I would currently use Canvas Sheets for. A lot of the other stuff you can do directly within Excel or Google Sheets, and I still prefer using those apps because they are more extensive. So for example, charts, or insights based on asking a question that you can do with analyze data in Excel. Generate table, you can do this in Google Sheets. It does it based on a text prompt, not something I've used very often though. Fill empty cells, this will fill them with magic right things, so similar to what I already showed you. I've shown you these two, translate. You can translate based on a lot of things, but again, Excel and Google Sheets can do that as well now with the translate or the equals Google Translate function. Import data, you can link to other files. This is pretty cool. And these are things that you can insert, again, I think much better in the other apps. You can create a hyperlink or link to a Canva design. This is really useful if you are gonna use the bulk resize. 
Formulas and magic formulas, just touching on these very briefly. With magic formulas, you can say in natural English language what you want it to do, and then it will generate the formula for you. Just to show you the formulas that are available. So it has got a much smaller list than in Excel and Google Sheets, but it's got a lot of the key ones. For example, aggregation types like sum and counts and average. You've got correlations, you've got average ifs, count ifs, etc. And you've got also count unique, which actually Excel doesn't currently have, although Google Sheets does, a very, very useful function. Then you also have mathematical stuff like pi and power, rounding functions, sum product, and you have if functions, conditional things, as you might expect. You have lookup functions, so you have VLOOKUP and XLOOKUP. I would always use XLOOKUP. For anyone using VLOOKUP, then it is an out-of-date function, as is index match is a very complex way of doing some of the things you can easily do with XLOOKUP. But it's cool that it has those. Then with text, it's got a lot lower number than the other ones, and date and time as well. And down here, you've got is blank is error it hasn't got as many functions as the other ones but then again google sheets when it first launched didn't have anywhere near as many things as excel but now they are pretty comparable though there are still things that excel does better than sheets and vice versa in this toolbar you have a lot of the standard formatting actions so you can change the color of cells that wasn't so intuitive to me initially you can add borders you can change number formats here this is for charts and these are for standard text things this is like your format painter like that, etc. Oh, if you do want to get early access to these things, if you're watching it at the time of making this video, then if you rush, you can get this. If you go to the home page over here, you'll see at the top, you'll see a banner to watch what's new. And if you click on the five envelopes, it will unveil the new Canva things to you, which has things like photo editor, it has Canva AI, you can directly access via here. It's got loads of other things. Great. So I hope you enjoyed that video. My name is David Lime, and I love talking about new aspects of spreadsheets. Thanks for watching.